Hey there, everybody. Uh, happy spring. Uh, digging any here. And we are on our way to go metal detecting. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting up a new park that I found not too long ago. Uh, now that it is also 75 degrees out, and yesterday it was also like 60 degrees, but the day before that it was probably 32. So it's definitely getting really nice out and warm. So you'll start to see the videos again. Um, it's a little bit late right now, it's 4.30. Uh, so let's go try out this new park and let's see what we can find. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a fairly newer park, so I'm not going to find a lot of uh, old stuff. But it's a ball ballpark, and, but it's in an older neighborhood, so let's see how old it really is once we get there. I haven't actually physically been there yet, so let's see when we get there. All right. Here we are. Um, here's a little bit of a area for kids to run around, I guess, and play. There is like a uh, concession stand, bathrooms right there, and then the field. There's some metal bleachers, and you got a couple people playing right now. Right now, we're the only two here, so shouldn't be bad. It's a softball field. Uh, let's see, but I'll get a alumni Wentworth softball field is where I'm at so if any of you are local to Portsmouth New Hampshire that's where I'm at uh, I'm not too worried about there being a lot of old stuff looks like it's pretty modern or recently done so I don't think there's anything really old old although it is in a fairly old neighborhood all 60s and 70s styles maybe some 50s right along that road there uh, my grandmother used to live right around the corner. So, this is where I'm at, and let's go find out what we get. Okay, here we are with the second target of the day. Uh, first one was a 1970-something uh, penny. And then here we are with a dime, clad dime. Oh, yeah new camera doesn't focus very well. Well, I suppose it's not exactly made for uh, videoing, but it's working. So, second target is now on this back side. The first target was on the front side of that. So I'm just working my way around right now. There's still a little bit of snow. I'm just going to work up this side strip, and I'm just going to hit inside the field there for a little bit. So, a little birdie over there. Making some noise. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. There he is. Red breasted robins. It's about 73 here now, so for a temperature. All right. See you at the next hole. All right. Here we are with the very next target, and as you can see. We got a quarter. It's a 92 quarter, so it's not silver. Um, There's only a couple inches down, right here. And then, right there, just at the base of that pole is where I just got that dime, so. Big money, as uh, Keith in Alaska says it. All right, see you at the next target. Here we are with the next target, another quarter. 
1996. Just sitting right at the surface. I just brushed the leaf away. It was right there. Um, I'm just about finished with coming back here. And then I'll start to uh, work my way into the field and see if I can pick up any rings or anything like that. Uh, there's like little to no targets here. And so. I'm going to assume this park is very, very new. So. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if we find anything in the field now. Okay, here we are with the next good target since I got that quarter. Uh, now I'm in the field. I've already done all this area. Uh, about four inches down at this hole, I just dug up a 1971 penny. Uh, so looks like there are some old things here in the field. It's going to take me a little while to comb it out, but sun's starting to set. I don't want to blind you guys. But, yeah, just working the side here in the field. So, let's see how many other older targets I can keep digging. Alright, see you at the next item. Here we are with the next target. It was ringing up as a pull tab. And we got a penny that was hit by a lawnmower definitely. Look at that chunk taken out of it. It's a zinc one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a zinc penny. Man, look at the chunk that got taken out. It was ringing up like a nickel for some reason, or a pull tab. So, see the copper coating. So, um, I'm pretty much done with the field, working my way to that gate. And then uh, I'm going to go hit some curb strips real fast along that road over there. And then I'm going to head back home to Dover. So. See uh, probably if I find anything on the curb strips, if not, back in Dover. Alright, bye. Alright, here we are with the, uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much the last target of the day here at the uh, ballpark. Another quarter. It's a 2013 per Perry's Victory quarter, so. Uh, I can't really see it. Oops. Let's see. There we go. 2013 so uh, that's going to be the last tiger from here I'm going to go do some curb strips along the road that's right over there uh, so hopefully I can find something over there too maybe something old maybe some silver let's see all right see you at the next target or the wrap up hey there here we are uh, first good target of doing the curb strips here um, I'm actually parked in front of that red house that's way down there I just dug a 1960 penny, so first good target is about uh, two, three inches down. So I'll keep going. I'm gonna get ready to move my car up here so then I can get those curb strips down there. Also, the uh, raise I was getting out of the car, the lady whose house I parked in front of got out and tried to say it was illegal and I'd get arrested, but the cops show up, they show up and I'll talk with them, but I know it's not, so, see you soon. Alright, here we are, Black traffic, uh, just took a token, I have to move my car down here now, uh, says, no cash value, fifth wheel, so, See, dug it about three inches here along the side. I'm marking my way back now to my car and that's it for the curb strips. I also dug a uh, bike pedal. That was about five inches down, so. Oh, nice. First token of 2015. Cool. All right. See if I get anything else in this small little area. All right. Then I'll be calling it a day. So, see you soon. Hey everyone, here we are with the wrap up of today's hunt. Uh, not very much finds, as you know. Uh, I filmed pretty much every target that I dug. That was the coins and stuff. Uh, for the trash, obviously these were all ringing up in the uh, nickel range. I couldn't find a single nickel. Uh, I think actually this 
right here is a hot rock. Bring up like a quarter. Uh, found this bike pedal. That was pretty funny. That was ringing up like a quarter as well. It was actually three inches down, and that's what I was reading for that size, which was odd. Uh, got two pull tabs and a button of some sort, probably the pants or a purse or a jacket or some sort. Uh, no writing on it. Uh, did a little research real fast on that uh, coin here and the uh, token I found. It says fifth wheel on it. And on the back side it says no cash value. Well, in, uh, right around the corner from where it is that I found it on one of the main roads going into uh, the other state, uh, there's actually some shops, adult shops there. And the name of that adult store is called Fifth Wheel. And apparently this is a token to go in there and to be able to watch videos. So I find that pretty funny how I found it about a mile away if that uh, don't know why people need them now but it just shows that it's probably from the early 80s or mid 80s to early 90s time frame so uh, got the three quarters the dime the zinc penny that rang up like a nickel uh, I just found this one on the ground. I just grabbed it and put it in. It's also zinc. And then the uh, three pennies. The 1960. And then the other two. So. That's today's hunt. Uh, tomorrow I'm off from work as well. So it's expected to be about 75 again. So I'm going to try to go out to some other locations that I've hit before. And try to pick up some new areas as well. That I've found out over the winter so or that I've thought of for trying to hit up so trying to span it a little bit more try to get to that silver so uh, happy hunting uh, good luck to you guys with your videos and hopefully you can find some silver as well so see you later